If you want to upgrade your Asus router to a newer model while preserving the settings that you already configured on your old Asus router, there's a way to transfer the settings. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this. So here on my left, I have my trusted RTAX58 U Wi-Fi 6 Asus router that I want to upgrade to this RTAXE7800 Wi-Fi 6E router. And I have many configurations that I've done already on my RTAX58 U, like for instance, parental control, guest network, AI protection, and so on and so forth. And I don't want to lose these settings. On top of showing you how to transfer the settings from the old router to the new router, I'm going to also show you some things that you need to be aware of so to finish the setup of the new router because new routers most of the time have new functionalities that old routers don't have and you don't want to leave these functionalities unconfigured. So let's start first by showing you how to get the settings from the old router. So this here is the administration page of my old Asus router, the RTAX58U. And I'm going to show you the settings first that I made on this router. And then I'm going to show you how to transfer the settings. So first you see on the network map, I have a 2.4 gigahertz network that is KSTEC24. It has this password. Of course, this password here is for the purpose of this video. Always use a stronger password. And here you have the 5 gigahertz band also and you have its password. You have also the guest networks that are enabled. I have two guest networks, one on the 2.4 gigahertz band and one on the 5 gigahertz band. I have also AI protection configured and enabled, parental controls that are enabled and configured, adaptive QoS also that is configured here and it is customized. And I have some USB applications, like for instance, the server center here. I have the UPnP uh, media server enabled. And also, if I show you here, like some of the settings of the LAN, for instance, I have this IP address and you have the host name here that is RTAX3000. And make note of this because this is one of the things that we need to change later. And under one, I have also special DNS servers. So these are open DNS servers that I use so to protect my network. And under VPN, I have VPN Fusion. So under VPN Fusion, I have two profiles. So let me show you now how to save all these settings. In the administration page of the router, on the bottom, click on administration. And then click on restore, save, upload settings and choose the second one, which is safe settings. Do not check any of these checkboxes. So click here. So here I want to save them under the downloads folder and the name is good for me here. So keep everything by default and then click on save. If your browser asks you to keep this configuration file because it might detect that it is malicious, it is not malicious of course, but because it's a configuration file, the browser might think so. Just click on keep so that to keep it. So now all our work on the old router is finished. I'm going to connect the new router and show you how to restore the settings and everything else. So now I connected the new router to my PC and I'm going to show you how to get the IP of the new router so that you can go in its administration page and restore the configuration on it. So open a command prompt and in the command prompt type in ipconfig and this is the default gateway. So this will be the IP of the new router. So I'm going to close the command prompt and I'm going to put the address here 192.168.50.1. This is the welcome screen. So here it's prompting you to read an agreement and accept it. So feel free to read it. You need to scroll to the bottom and then click I am above the age of 16 years and then agree. And this is another agreement. So this is new in ASUS routers. Let's click on agree once again. And this is a splash screen for an Asus router when it is new. So if you had like a router that was pre-configured and you want to restore the configuration to it, you can simply reset the router and you'll get this screen. So here you need to click on advanced settings. And in advanced settings, you see this last option. It will let you upload the configuration file to this router. So I'm going to click on it and go to the downloads folder where you saved the settings of the old Asus RTAX58 u router, select the configuration file and then click on open. And here simply all you have to do is wait for the configuration to be restored into the new Asus router. 
when the configuration is being restored, I want to tell you that one of the settings that is also transferred from the old router to the new router in this configuration file is the administration login of the router. So we're going to use this information to log in to the new router. So you see on the top here, it says it takes about 60 seconds, but this is not true. So it takes somewhere from five minutes to 10 minutes, even though it takes time, just wait for it until it finishes. So now the restore finished. And of course, this IP is no longer valid because the old router has another IP. So we need to go to the administration page of the new IP. So here, let's open a new tab and simply go to router.asus.com and it will detect it automatically. And here it is. So I told you that the user and the password are taken from the old router. So here it is, KSTech user. And let me put the password and let's hit enter. And here it is logged in. So all the information are almost restored. Let me walk you through the information that you need to fix in order for you to finish the setup of the new router. So the first thing you see here in front of you is that it restored the 2.4 gigahertz network with the password that it was on it and the five gigahertz one. But because this is a Wi-Fi 6E router and the old router didn't have Wi-Fi 6E, the six gigahertz network was created by default. And this is something that you need to change. So here I'm gonna name it KS Tech 6, and then I'm gonna choose authentication method WPA3 and give it a strong password. And let's click on apply. So this is the first thing you need to do. So let me check the other things if they were restored also. The guest network, remember we had two guest networks, so they were restored as they were. AI protection, it was enabled. So here it is also enabled, which is very good. Parental controls also. Adaptive QoS, let's see. It was customized, so it is still customized and on. And the USB application, we had also a media server. So let's click on server center. And here it is also the media server was restored. And let's click on LAN. And here we need to change one name. And here you notice that it restored the old router's name. So here you need to change it to reflect the new router. If you're using this name and other settings, do not change it here. But I'm going to change it because I'm not using it in other settings. So AXE7800. And it also restored the local LAN address here which is very good. Let's click on apply. And let me see here also the one. Remember we had a DNS server on OpenDNS and they are still here, OpenDNS servers. And the VPN, let's see if it was restored, the VPN fusion. And my two profiles were restored. So as you saw, we were able to restore all the settings on the new router and the changes that we had to make are minimal in order for the new router to be fully operational. Let me know in the comments section below your experience in upgrading your ASUS router or maybe downgrading your ASUS router and was it successful and if you had any problems or if you had any things to add to this video also, don't hesitate to put it in the comments section below. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope that you liked my video and you found it useful. In case you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.